So the countdown is on to Halloween. Can you believe we are now less than two weeks from the scary day? And you may be picking out your pumpkins this weekend to get ready. I don't know about you, but my kids spend hours decorating their pumpkins. And do they have so much fun as well in doing this without a doubt? It can be very elaborate that they come up with. And uh, you know what? It's so enjoyable. So. The thing about carving pumpkins and spending all this time is a lot of times they end up collapsing in a few days. So we wanted to find some help, learn more about how to make your pumpkin last. So we asked our News for Jack's intern, Doriel Gale, to put together some information, do some research, because that's what reporters do. We gave you an easy topic to come up with some ways on how you can prepare your pumpkin ahead of time, which will help it last longer in the long way. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, okay, so what did you find out? Because it really kind of starts with after, before you even start carving, there's some things that you need to do. Yes, so first pick your pumpkin out of your special. These are perfect, by the way. Yes. You did a very good job. <laughs> Perfectly round. So you're going to carve the pumpkin mm -hmm. and then to a design of your, of your choice. Yeah. And you're going to spray it with bleach and water. So we okay. have bleach here and a water bottle. Mm -hmm. And you're going to let it sit for about 24 hours. Okay. Or less. Um, now, do you do that uh, before you carve it or after? Um, after you carve it. Okay, after you carve it. And so you literally you put the bleach in here with some water and yes. spray it down. Yes. Okay. And what's this doing? Is it get, it's getting it, rid it's of... It's all the bacteria out. If right. you put Vaseline before you uh, put the bleach on... Yeah. If you put vest, excuse me, if you put yeah. Vaseline on before the bleach, then it's going to keep, um, keep, keep the moisture in. It's just yes. going to make it even, yeah, worse. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you want to carve the pumpkin, wax it down with yeah. um, Vaseline after you clean it with bleach. Okay. Um, All right. Now, so, um, because I guess the issue really is, is that it kind of dries out. So we can just, yes. you, you literally can take your fingers. The kids will love doing this. Yeah. And I, put, right? I just put Vaseline in between the, yeah. um, in the holes that I've carved all over the pumpkin. I didn't put Keeps on that inside. moisture in yes. so it doesn't dry out. Yes. Okay, easy. All right, great. Now, uh, does, if you don't have Vaseline at home, and most parents do, there's some other things that you can use, yes, right? Yes, you can use WD-40 and okay, vegetable w oil. WD-40, yes. well, it makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> and then everybody usually has some kind of an oil around. I grab peanut oil from my, from, uh, my cabinet, so that's easy as well. Yes, but we want to make sure that and tell people, inform people that it's very flammable. Okay. So just use some Once vote of put candles. these things on, right. Vote of candles, yes. Just to put Those inside. Are expensive too that you can find to put inside. Yes, right? thousands and they of last dollar longer, tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> start, about starting a fire or anything like that. Now, so you you have to be careful though where you put it outside, right? Yes, you want to put it outside um, where it's not too hot. Mm -hmm. um, just keep it temperature every night. Bring it in. Bring it inside. Um, I have a plastic bag here. A garbage bag is perfect for it. Oh, um, really? So you just wrap it up, bring it inside, so it doesn't get messy all over. What about? I've heard it particularly in the north. Sometimes yeah. people put these in like a refrigerator. Yes. <laughs> yes, refrigerator. Yes. Yeah. So you want to put it in the refrigerator. If you don't have a room in your refrigerator, yeah. then just store it inside your house, somewhere it's yeah. nice and cool, so it won't melt or get um, rotten out of there. Yeah, because we see that that does happen. And you can uh, yeah. reapply Vaseline or WD-40 vegetable oil daily. Just Good. make sure just... moisture keeps in on the pumpkin. So how'd it go? It went well. Like I did. did. It was a great, great experience. Did she do great? Doriel did. Dor Doriel's only been here for about a month, and I came to her and said, "Hey, would you like to do this on TV?" I am so proud of you. You did a fantastic job. Presentation was wonderful. Thank you. Good job. Thank Good job. You. Thank you. All right, we are going to put our pumpkin out, our pumpkins outside, in fact, near the public's kitchen to see if our treatment that Doriel taught us will work to see how long it will last compared to a pumpkin that is not treated with any of the bleach and the water and the Vaseline. And we are going to continue and follow this process, see how long it lasts. And tomorrow, Mel and Bruce will put their pumpkin carving tools to the test. One of them will carve the old-fashioned way using, you know, a spoon and a knife. The other will use some of the store-bought toolkits to see which ones work the best. And when you start ca carving your pumpkins, we also want to know who has the best creation. Send us your jack-o'-lantern pictures either on Facebook or to morningshow at WJXT.com. Do we love Halloween around here or what?